Hi, Cat here for Ledwave Digital. In today's video, we're going back to basics, and this is designed as a series for people who have never even opened up a 3D program before, let alone Lightwave 3D. Lightwave 3D has been around for 34 years. It originally was labeled Lightwave 3D in 1990 and was initially intended to create broadcast logos for a product called the Video Toaster on the old Amiga systems using the Video Toaster on the Amiga 2000. Now, we've come a long way since then, but some things stay the same and for very good reason. Lightwave is primarily made up of two components. Here we have Lightwave Modeler. This is where we do our set construction or our props building or our vehicles building or model people. And the other program, which is our sound stage where everything comes together, is Lightwave Layout. So these two programs work hand in hand together and they communicate in the background when working through another application called the Hub. Now the Hub is a little task tray tool it just sits right here and it allows for communication between these two applications effectively allowing you to send for example let's go over to modeler and create something such as a box really quickly so we'll create a box and hold down the control key so it uniformly creates a box I'm going to hit enter F2 to center it we're going to hit Q to give it a surface we'll call it box surface so it's not the default one which just be default then we can save this just call this simple box and instead of going over to layout and loading the box we can send that directly from modeler and send the object to layout and it appears so from here, we can animate the box, we can light the box, we can apply a surface to it. We can see that it's named box surface. And should, if we want, we can make modifications to this. And these surface changes will be reflected in Modeler when we go back. So let's, for example, change this box color to something blue. We go OK. And then we go back over Modeler. And now it's blue. So that communication is being achieved in the background through that little task icon called the hub. That's a simple example as to why we have those two programs.